Mary Ellen Withrow first began her political career, she couldn't have her name on a credit card. Then the Marion Star wouldn't print my name, Mary Ellen Withrow. It had to be Mrs. Norman Withrow. That was, uh, it, it didn't become possible until 1976. Since 1994, her signature has sat in almost every American's hand. On the dollar bill, the 92-year-old Democrat is the oldest living former U.S. Treasurer and the only person to serve in the role at the county, state, and federal levels. An exhibit at a museum in Marion, Ohio is opening to commemorate her success. To see Mary Ellen go through struggles early in her career and as an adult female now, to see and have experienced that in my own career, it really was eye-opening that that wasn't that long ago. The exhibit walls are lined with photos, artifacts, and memorabilia throughout Withrow's career. Her signature has appeared on more than 68 billion U.S. currency notes, a record so out of this world that John Glenn, a personal friend and fellow Ohio Democrat, took a $20 bill signed by Withrow to space. Most people don't know what I did. I mean, they know I was a treasurer. They don't know what I actually did. During her time as U.S. Treasurer, Withrow spearheaded the State Quarters Project, introduced Sacagawea on the dollar coin, and helped redesign the five, 10, 20, 50, and $100 bills. She was a trailblazer that did things to make it easy for the next generations to kind of move along in their career. Withrow's advice to the next generation of leaders, bet on yourself. I hope if they are interested in running for something and they get excited about it and they want to do it, I think they should do it. Um, you shouldn't be afraid and you shouldn't wait until everything's perfect because it's never going to be perfect. You may never know where your name could end up. In Marion, Ohio, for the Associated Press, I'm Patrick Orsagas.